CBS presents this program in color. The Red Skelton Hour, regularly scheduled at this time, will not be seen in order to bring you the following Red Skelton special. Once upon a time when you were small, do you recall the fairy tales that you were told? There's no reason why you have to miss that magic place. Because you're slowly growing old Look at this book that we took from the shelf And you'll understand the wonderland of laughter Once you can dwell in the spell by yourself You'll be living happily forever after Our guest star, Cyril Richard Our special Came, a unique soap blended with lingering cold cream. Came, to help you look clean and creamy. Junior? Junior? What do you want, Grandma, Mommy, Dog? Daddy and I are leaving now, so come in and take care of your little baby brother. Okay, kiddo. Good night, Gregory. George, are you sure we should leave this little darling with Junior? Is Junior old enough? Junior should be able to take care of him. Well, he is six years old now, and he's six foot two and a half inches tall. I don't know about that kid. His brain stopped growing, but he goes on and on. It's our own fault, darling. Tell him that voodoo doctor he's a fake. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to take care of me, little brother. Why do I have to take care of little Gregory? Well, it's the maid's night off, so you're in charge of the baby. Well, I would rather it would be the baby's night off, and I could stay home with the maid. You don't worry about him being old enough. Yeah. Come on, honey. Yeah. <laughs> be good boy, Junior. Oh, I will. Remember, you're the man of the house. Yeah, it's something. Well, you heard what you said, didn't you, boy? I am in charge around here. <laughs> Oh, you just said your first word, huh? Now, if you want to get along with me tonight, you just remember the rules. Now, keep dry. <laughs> what could I do to entertain the kid? I'm at the... How about a little nursery rhyme? Would you like that? Free blind mice, free blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. Hickey boo, hickey hickey boo. Boy, I wish I'd lived in the days during the times they had the nursery rhymes and fairy tales. Those mice, boy, they were real cool cats, you know. When they made the scene, they ate the cheese. They all ran after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? Mouse in your house, squeak. even though a rat isn't for you. Squeak, squeak. Don't you know that mice can be nice? Squeak. Cause they give your cat something to do. Tell us why you get out of cheer when we three have to be on tap. We're more fun than just one or a pair, and we, we are not get caught, caught in your tap. We 
would love some cheese if you please. Any kind of old would be so nice. Teddy's with Sir Pop, what have you got? We could have a ball digging a slice. Green cheese, blue cheese, any old or new cheese. Brown cheese, square cheese, jack or camembert cheese. Green cheese, Dutch cheese, we don't care as long as there is much cheese. I'm going to tell you a fairy tale about a little old man who had a magic lamp. His name was Aladdin, you see, and he took... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wake up, wake up, will you? Now, that's good. Now, shut up and listen. Once upon a time, before anybody was born, there wasn't a soul around. There was nobody, see. There was this little old man. And he, he, would, he had a lamp, see? And his name was Aladdin. Lamps for sale, lamps for sale. <laughs> the Would you buy a lamp, sir? Not today, Aladdin. Oh, do buy a lamp, please. I want to send my brother to college so we can learn to protest. <laughs> oh, dear. No one will buy my lamps. Not a penny do I have to buy food. Must I spend my life drinking oil and eating lamp wicks? <laughs> and this lamp isn't even worth the keeping. It's so stupid looking. <laughs> You rub, sire? That's a big bug. The oil in the lamp must have gotten rotten. <laughs> I am the genie of the lamp. A genie? Well, you don't look very bright to me. Well, how smart do you have to be to live inside of a lamp? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you want to get rid of this thing. There's no back in it. <laughs> now, I'm here to grant you... <laughs> I'm here to grant you any wish. Any wish Any I, wish. Any wish I want? Mm. Aha! I'm sorry, but aha, they're out of season. Listen, <laughs> listen, oh magic genie. I want beautiful clothes, a gorgeous palace with rich tapestries, satin cushions, silk banners, and thick Persian carpets. Too bad you're alone. With two people, you get the egg roll. <laughs> okay, I'll give you whatever you want. Abraka! Abraka! Oh, I can never remember that Dabra word. <laughs> That's it! Abracadabra! Oh. oh, let's get out of this Los Angeles smog! <laughs> Royal robes, beautiful palace, food. Oh, how did you perform such great magic, O oh, genie? It wasn't magic. I got you into Lyndon's poverty program. <laughs> how do you like it? My bag, Dad. <laughs> That's a rather tippy, son. Oh, he does. Oh, this is my bag, Dad. Oh, what beautiful food. Oh, Wines yeah. from France. Look. Cheese from Holland. And what's this? Oh, that is rare food. The rarest you can find. Those are Easter. Those are... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be an idiot. <laughs> Those are... <laughs> Those are the rarest eggs you can find. Those are rooster eggs. Rooster, rooster eggs? Rooster eggs, yes. They're from Russia. Russia. 
There they don't care who you are. You've got to make the quota. <laughs> well, right now, I would like a turkey leg. Abracadabra, you've got a turkey leg. Jeannie, Jeannie, look what you've done. You've given me a turkey leg. <laughs> Well, that's what you asked for. Yes, but I wanted a turkey leg that I could eat. Well, dip it in the cranberry sauce and nibble away. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he want? Oh, I forgot to tell you, in this country today is Thanksgiving. <laughs> Save the giblets for me. The giblets for me. I told you I was an idiot. Well, let me see. This me being the genie here, I'm not getting a very good salary out of this. I ought to do something for myself. Let's see. Now, what could I wish for? Yeah, I had that. <laughs> oh, married. <laughs> I don't know, I keep thinking and thinking, but it keeps coming out. And Margaret. <laughs> I know, ever since I saw that picture, Eve, in the Garden of Eden, I know exactly what I want. An apple. <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna eat that apple. It's already killed the pig. <laughs> I could be pushing up daisies. <laughs> well, I'm a monkey's uncle. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Genie. <laughs> I didn't know I had relatives in this neighborhood. <laughs> The turkey leg. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> now, I don't want any more idiocy from you. No, oh, you'll not get any of my idiocy. I'm saving it all for myself. Let me tell you what I really want. It's, um, well, it looks like this. Yeah. That kind of stuff's easy. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I want is, um, Have you tried Sunset Strip? <laughs> what I want is a G-I-R-L. G-I-R-L, G-I-R-L, G-I-R-L. Ah, a gorilla. <laughs> Idiot, I want a female girl. If you like that, you should have tried my, my turkey leg. <laughs> now, have you... You're not his type, get going. <laughs> Hurry up while I'm still young enough to remember what a girl is like. Okay, abracadabra. One girl coming up. Hi. I am Natasha. Ah. Hey, you better slow down there. You're losing a lot of the parts. <laughs> I don't care. I'll take what's left. <laughs> Hello, Nasha. <laughs> Who does your hair, sire? Prince Valiant. <laughs> You're lovely, my dear. Oh, I can be soft and cuddly like a kitten. Mm. <laughs> or I can be warm and cute. Like a panda bear. Yes. <laughs> or I can be mean like a shrew. Well, have you got a selector dial? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my heart, my heart beats like thunder. Mm? My eyes flash like lightning. Yes. And my blood surges like a wild hurricane. Kiss me. Kiss you? Who can make love in weather like that? Oh, <laughs> oh, I can dance to keep your blood warm. Oh, well, dancing's all right, but remember the law. There's no cooking in the rooms. <laughs> Genie, magic Genie. Oh, you got Genie. the lowest hiccups of anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> magic Genie, grant me a wish quickly. Oh, you a wish? Any idiot even like me would know what year that means. With the power that's vested into me by the genie's union, I now pronounce you Abra and Cadabra. Does that mean we're married? It sure does. Uh, now, now get me some new clothes, some new furnishings, and I want a palace in the country. Well, where are you going? I'm going to get my mother. 
Now get to work and polish up all of those lamps. Oh. A little Spanish in that kid, did you see that? <laughs> Gee, I'm right back where I started polishing lamps, and there are hundreds of them. Do something. I have only one cadaver left, so I'll tell you what I'll do. Mm -hmm. I'll get you some automatic lamp polishers. Abracadabra! <laughs> lamp polishers! You just keep them well oiled and they'll last a lifetime. Oh. <laughs> well, I tell you, kids are a mess. Kids are a mess. My work is never done, never done. This is the one thing I hate about being a mother. <laughs> there you is, there you are. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're dangerous no matter which way you face. <laughs> now you shut up, will you? I'm going to tell you another story. This one's about a little couple that just got married, see? And they went to live in some vegetables. Let's see, now, how did it go? How did it go? Let's see, I remember it very well. Oh, yes, I remember it well. <laughs> Peter, Peter, Punkinita had a wife and couldn't keep her. in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well.
This is gonna be like a Mexican dinner for you, boy. You must see that. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> now, there you is. Drink your milk now so you'll grow up to be big and stupid, like me. <laughs> you did that to me. I'll fix you, you little rascal, you. There's only one thing to do with a little kid like you. I tell you, you're going to be the death of me yet. You're going to be the death of me. That's what you're going to do. That's what they say. I don't know what it means. They say it to me all the time. So I thought I'd say it to you. But there, I'm going to fix it right now. You got to eat your milk. That's what you got to do. I'm going to give you a milk transfusion. That's what you're going to do. Here you is. Damn. Not in your ear, your mouth. Damn. <laughs> There you is. Now, 
You be a good boy now. I'm going to tell you another bedtime story. This was about a widow old man. His name was Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> Mr. Van Winkle, he was very tired. I think he'd been hanging one on. So he lay down on the grass under the tree, and the alarm clock didn't go off. And he slept for 100 years. Over there. Holy smokes! I'm a mother! <laughs> what is this? Well, it looks like Dean Martin's tongue on New Year's Day. <laughs> what the hell long I've been sleeping, anyhow? Oh, there. 1968. 1960, I've slept a hundred years? Oh, I should have known. My five-day deodorant's worn off. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Nobody sleeps for a hundred years. Not even in Congress. <laughs> Imagine all the changes that must have taken place. I'll bet Josh Gabor's at least two years older now. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. The scientists have gone too far. They're dehydrating women. Here's one they call Twiggy. <laughs> I wonder what my old friends will look like after a hundred years. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. <laughs> well, I see Mr. Gleason hasn't changed any. <laughs> hey, what are you carrying there, Sonny? It's a TV set. What's TV? TV is something you buy and then you see things. Yeah, that's TV. We used to call it booze. <laughs> that's a goodie. That's a goodie. No place for it here, but that's a goodie. <laughs> what are you looking at now? Red Skelton. Who? Never Red heard of him. What does he do? Well, he stands like this, crosses his eyes, and pretends he's a seagull. <laughs> And he's running around loose. <laughs> well, now we know where the booze went, don't we? I have to go now. Oh, Gotta you be do. in school an hour early. Oh, to study? No, it's my turn to pick it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but if I saw it coming from under the sink, I'd have stepped on it. <laughs> I'm going down to the draft board and protest, because I'm strong-minded. And that ain't all, brother. <laughs> oh, he even wore off on the flower. Oh, boy, he could sit breathing back 20 years. Well, so far, everything looks familiar. Nothing's changed. Oh my goodness, I'm late for the beach. <laughs> well, now I know what they mean by topless. I almost lost my head. <laughs> well, nothing's changed, just another pretty face. <laughs> Stay tuned for the second portion of this Red Skelton special. They have better movie tonight, huh? <laughs> wow, what's that aftershave you're wearing? New ah. high karate <laughs> aftershave is so powerful, <laughs> it drives <laughs> women right out of their minds. That's why we have to put instructions on self-defense in every package. High karate, aftershave and cologne, regular and oriental lime, in gift sets for Father's Day or graduation. Whoa. Hi, Karate. Be careful how you use it. I tell you, I'm getting pretty sick of this. Pretty sick of it. I'm fed up to here. And when it gets up to here, I go to quick because I won't be able to breathe. Now, here. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 
Oh, the next time I do a job like this, I'm gonna ask for a weather report for it. <laughs> this! <laughs> now, when you get through sneezing, I'm gonna tell you a story about the beauty and the beast. I think the way the story goes is like this. This beautiful girl meets this horrible, ugly monster, and she falls in love with him, and she marries him. You know, it's sort of like mommy and daddy. When those wedding bells are ringing down in Fairyland, it's the only place to be. Since the time that Cinderella got married to her fella, while Rumpelstiltskin sang, oh, promise me, we'll be dancing to the music of a wedding band and a catered fancy feast. When those wedding bells are ringing down in Fairyland, for the beauty Though we'll try not to cry as they take their vow At this wedding we are shedding tears of gloom There's no doubt you'll find out why they're weeping now When you gaze upon the kisser of the groom Look at that face, just look at it. Look at that wonderful face of yours. I knew first look I took at it. This was the face that the world adored. Look at those eyes, as wise and as deep as the sea. Look at that nose, it shows what a nose should be. As for your smile, it's lyrical, friendly and warm as a summer's day. That face is just a miracle. Where could I ever find words to say? The way that it makes me happy, whatever the time or place, I find in the book what I find when I look at that face. People have ever been so in love. 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 Incredible. No two people have ever been so in love as my lovely dove and I. No two people have ever had more divine chills down the spine than yours and mine. Remarkable. No two people have had a sweet Valentine like my Frankenstein and. And when we kiss, and when we kiss, and when we kiss, well, it's like this. 
It's hysterical. It's hysterical. Let them tell it. Well, certainly, darling. No two people have ever been so in love. Been so in love. Been so in love. Oh, no two people have ever been so in love. As my love be dope. As my love be dope. As my love be dope. And I. In, Wonder, in, in Wonderland, says a looking glass, Alice in looking glass, see? Now, I heard this from the kids down on the corner. We was having a hot tooty fruity down there, see? <laughs> and it seems that this little girl thought that on the other side of the mirror, there was magic. There was land. There was people living there, see? That's what she thought. Maybe she was. We'll find out. Hey, is there anybody in there? You, who is me? Let me in. How come you don't answer me? Well, that's pretty rude. Somebody knock on the door and they won't let him in? Well, we'll fix that right now. <laughs> I guess I'm going to tell you about the Sleeping Beauty, kid. You see, there was this beautiful princess who just couldn't wake up in the morning for about a hundred years. A wicked old witch had put a spell on her and slipped a mickey in her drink. Boy, I wish I'd have been around then. I wouldn't have let the mean old wicked witch hurt that sleeping beauty. I would have made a citizen's arrest. They cast me as a witch. That's what I get for going to Phyllis Diller's hairdresser. Where is he? <laughs> She's talking in her sleep again. A one, a two. Someday my prince will come. 
and singing in her sleep again. How am I going to take 84 more years of that same song? If only she knew the lyrics of Senator Dirksen's album. <laughs> I wonder who that is. It can't be Rubel Stilskin. He's not in the story. Hey, oh, good morning. I had your friendly, I had your friendly door-to-door brat. <laughs> May I see the princess in the house? Sorry, she's asleep. Come back in 84 years. All right, sir. What month? <laughs> oh, you're no door-to-door salesman. I uh, have reason to suspect you. With them kind of fingernails, I got my reason to suspect you, too. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? I am Prince Charming. Prince Charming. A real prince. Well, no, my parents were Harry and Ethel Charming, and they named me Prince. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? They wanted a dog. <laughs> and I think they got one. <laughs> Get open in Betty by now. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Must be a government worker. Don't sleep in the subway, darling. Don't stand in the falling rain. Dig that. She snores with a beat. Yeah. Someday my prince will come. Oh, prince, prince. You know, how about that? I'm on her flip side. <laughs> Fear not, Princess, I will awaken thee. Be gone, Dave, or shall I cast a spell upon you and turn you into a frog? <laughs> you do, and I'm going to tell. Tell what? I'll tell everybody that you used to be a, not a mean old witch at all, but a ballet dancer. I was never a ballet dancer. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Anytime you want me to do any of those kismet things, will you let me know? <laughs> Look, she's laughing at it. She's laughing at it. You know. <laughs> she's sleeping on a feather. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I put a curse on her and it's guaranteed for a hundred years. Oh. There is nothing you can do to wake her. Well, we'll see about that. Rise and, pri- uh, rise and shine, princess. Rise and shine. It's time to get out of the sack. Let <laughs> young for a hernia? <laughs> no wonder I didn't wake her up. This is the girl scout, this is the boy scout bugle, and she's a girl. I think I'm too young. <laughs> of course, at my age, I don't know where she is. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Hey, look, her legs are awake, but her eyes are still asleep. She's not awake. She's only walking in her sleep. Oh, really? Shh. <laughs> I wonder why she's drinking. Well, you'd drink, too, if you'd slept through 16 New Year's parties. <laughs> Little does he know that the only thing that will break the spell and awaken the princess is a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Little does he know that he's got a big mouth. I hear everything he said with my widow ears. Now I'm going to wake her up. I'm going to kiss her. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to kiss her for, my toes are already curled. <laughs> if I do, I'm going to get a whipping. But I don't care. I'm going to wake her up. I guess it'll be worth it. I give her a little kiss, a little kiss, a little kiss. Yeah. Oh, she's waking up. I wonder what the very first thing is she'll say. How come a little punk like you is kissing girls? <laughs> I didn't want to waste my lip on lollipops. <laughs> Lost, I need some more sleep. Need some, you need more sleep like General de Gaulle needs nerve tonic. <laughs> now come on, rise and shine. Rise and shine. Pat her on the cheek. I'll take you outside, maybe that smog will revive you. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, 
boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of yelled for a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens, where do you... Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I can't lift you up. I'm a heavy sleeper. <laughs> My line. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, boy, even these stars are rats, ain't they? Yeah. Well, I know what I do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jack up the pillow here. Here. <clears throat> what happened there? <laughs> here, put that there so when you fall, you won't get hurt. Here. Now put the jack here. Uh -huh. And I hope we only got about another hour of this. <laughs> the old man's getting tired. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, if I was a member of the, uh, the auto club, I wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> We go through Pasadena, you know. <laughs> Here, come on up, kid. Up you come, kid. Up you come, kiddo. Here you are. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> up she come down. Oh, I got her. I got her. I got her. Oh, boy. Here. Golly, thank you. I'm gonna take you down to the laundry and get you starched. <laughs> here, oh, you wait right there, and I'm going over here. Oh. And get up, to... <laughs> <laughs> boy, I tell you, keep. That's all right. Don't be too grateful. Don't be too grateful. Oh. How come you're so happy? I was getting all the action. <laughs> little, little do you know that when the princess kissed you, she transferred the curse. You will now sleep for a hundred years. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm not even sleepy. Huh. <laughs> hey, princess, I'll see you when I wake up. Come back, I'll be a little bit older then I'll know why you kissed. Years, you're crazy. Yeah. I guess he's right. I'd even be too old for Medicare. <laughs> well, hey, Princess, can we talk this over? Come back here and go to sleep, or I'll turn you into a frog. You turn me into a frog, and I'll put warts all over you. That's what you think. <laughs> You changed me into a frog, you nasty old witch. You made me into a frog. <laughs> I was a pretty little boy, now I am an ugly frog. A frog, an ugly frog. Good 
Good heavens, a frog! Well, boy, you pretty stupid. It's me, Junior. Junior, <laughs> stop acting silly and stop being a frog. Well, don't pick on me. George, do something. Junior is a frog. What can I do? Well, just don't stand there. I is hungry. Go out and get me some flies. <laughs> Go away, Red will be back in a minute. Here he is again, Red Skelton. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our sponsors and staff, we sincerely hope that you've enjoyed our bedtime story for adults. And may the magic and love and understanding of your homes spread its happiness throughout the world. Abacadabra, and may God bless. This is Art Gilmore speaking.